This is my mom and dad's neighborhood. I love the style of the houses and the sunshine, of course. everybody how you doing I am just here actually pushing my grandson in the stroller getting some fresh air much going on on tomorrow is the service for the celebration of life for my niece emotions are rising here and there so it was a real good time just to come out and get some air everyone's getting their hair done and their clothes together you know um, it's much to be done as we prepare and even though during the, this time, this season that happens in our life with loved ones, in the situation of the death of a loved one, and you are glad to see others and so on and so forth, at the same time, finally the time comes where you have to go to the service and you have to say, uh, see you later. As Christians, we say, see you later when you know Christ, because as we know Christ and we live for him, we believe the dead in Christ shall rise first. We know that when Jesus went to the cross, that he took the sting out of death. And we believe that we will be saved. We will live again. So we as Christians, we don't sorrow as the world sorrows. It's hard to make this video and push this stroller. So I am going to sit down and set him where I can see him and talk from there. All right, so I have decided to just get a chair and sit down. Being I have my grandson close to me, he is in his stroller service on tomorrow. And it is quite sombering just to think about uh, everything that's going on I just want to encourage you when you have these type these times these seasons in your family amongst your loved ones uh, your family that pass away be encouraged and just uh, be there to support your family and friends give out as many hugs as you can uh, be mindful to be slow to speak slow to wrath quick to hear because emotions do run high during this time and you don't want to say something to harm somebody, especially when you really don't mean it. It is a time as Christians to be very prayerful so that you will be strong. Tears are fine because it is a natural part of our, uh, as a human, to grieve. And it's so much better to go ahead and grieve, especially during this time, and get it out so that you don't, um, it doesn't leak in because things so that you won't run into triggers that cause you to go off in unhealthy ways later on down the line because you did not grieve and because you just held it in I just want to encourage you um, certainly we're being prayerful in my family specifically we have not had a death in the family since my daughter my daughter Candace passed away who was an infant and that was in 1995 so it's been quite a while God has really been good to us being that we have not had to go through that so this is uh, something that uh, it is a trying time uh, especially for my sister and her family and but God is with us and um, we believe that just like destiny used to sing I'm going up yonder we believe that 
and as she has gone up yonder as we live right as we do as we live our life for Christ certainly we will see her again uh, we are all seeking to hear God say well done good and faithful servant so um, thank you for joining me on another day of my road trip to California I'm talking to you today from my hometown this is Nichelle and these are my notes god bless